Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Hewell Hauser. It's about five minutes to one on a Sunday afternoon, a beautiful day here in downtown Los Angeles, and we are getting ready to have... This is going to be an experience unlike any we've ever had before, isn't it, Bill? I think it's the only one in America. Now, tell everybody where we are and what's getting ready to happen here today. Well, this is the third annual L.A. Tofu Festival. Uh-huh, and it's all part of Nisei Week. Right. And this thing has really taken off, hasn't it? Well, it's growing every year. I think last year we had about 20,000 people, and this year we're hoping for 30. And the idea is that you've got tofu here from all different kinds of restaurants all over right. the city right. with the premise of making it as palatable and as delicious as tofu can be. Well, tofu itself doesn't have a lot of taste, so we think <laughs> we can mix it. That's the understatement of the day. <laughs> we think if you mix it with the right things, it tastes great. So it can go with Chinese food, Japanese food, and they even make like hamburgers out of it, and uh -huh. cheese, all kinds of things. So you're going to take me around, and we're going to sample some of this tofu today. That's right, and you may even become a tofu devotee. Because I don't want to say anything negative, okay. but you're going to have to convince me that tofu can be tasty. All right, we'll give all it a right, shot. We're going to start. Let's just start right here. You're eating tofu. Loving it. It's great. You it's like wonderful. tofu. I love tofu. I've, oops, excuse me. I've grown up with it all my life, but uh, they prepare it in ways that I never had when I was growing up. So it's they're wonderful. making it a little more interesting now, aren't they? More interesting, a little more mainstream. Uh, this is a salad, um, just green salad with fried tofu and some fried wonton. It's really good. Now, fried tofu, is mm -hmm. that good for you? I think so. It's still got a lot of protein and a lot of whatever the good fats are. I can't remember what they are, but it's healthier. It's healthier than fried anything else, I'm sure. This is your son? Well, no, he's a friend, but he won't try any of these either. It's you don't like son. tofu? No. <laughs> See, now there's some people. See, I think this is a way to kind of bring people around. We're going to bring him around, and, you know, eventually he'll try something. All right, let's see if we got, is this, this isn't tofu. It was. We, we, we finished it. Oh, you've already eaten it. It was what, great. What kind did you have? This is um, a tofu with uh, shrimp sauce. Now, and, are you um, big tofu fans? I am. He's not. I'm, I'm a skeptic. <laughs> See, I like this man right here. I'm just going to stick with him. Has she won you over yet? Uh, about 80%, let's say. We have three more tickets. So. We'll be there at so you're going to different booths and trying it in different, prepared in different ways. Exactly. Oh, yeah. All right, Bill, I think we've, oh boy, look at that. Mmm, it's very good. She's got a mouthful of tofu. What kind of, there's just one little piece left, left here. What kind of tofu was this? With vegetables and um, uh, mushrooms, stir fried. It's the booth right next over so there. So this was healthy tofu. Very healthy. Now, do you eat tofu all the time? Yes. And what would you tell people out there who are sitting there now thinking about cutting the television off right now because the thought of watching a show about tofu <laughs> just bores the heck out of them? You should try it. It's very good. There's desserts made out of tofu. There's cheese made like uh, from tofu, and it's very good, very versatile. All right, Bill, we're gonna we're gonna go on a crusade. All right. You've got about 53 minutes left to convince me that tofu can be delicious, can be prepared in a way. Watch your step here, Tom. Can be prepared in a way that, Heidi. What is this, tofu? Yeah, that's tofu, right. Now that looks like the kind of tofu that I've seen before. That's kind of just traditional tofu, isn't it? You want to bite? Try well, it. I'm going to wait just a minute. All right. But it's it's good. Right. Very and good. look at yours. You got a little bowl of tofu. It's a uh, mabu tofu from over here. It's actually my girlfriend's. Hi. Ah. Hi. Now, I watch your show all the time, brother. That isn't tofu. It's tofu smoothie. A tofu smoothie. It is really good. It is really good. You have to try wow. it. Wow. You really have to try it. It's really good. Now, are these practical ways? I mean, you're not going to go home and make a tofu smoothie, are you? It may not be practical, but it's healthy. Yeah. You know, and I think it's a great way, a creative way to use tofu. And it's a, a staple in Japanese cooking. Why so. is tofu so healthy? I'd heard it's like pure protein. Is that right? Yeah, that's what I've heard too. So yeah, I love tofu. So for me, coming here is fun. No downside to tofu at all? Not for me. What about you? I like it. I just <laughs> You're not, not as excited about it as she is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, 
You're eating your tofu? Yes, talk to my wife and I'll keep eating. Oh. <laughs> so, you've yeah. got him eating what kind of tofu well, here? Well, that is, you tell him, because he went out by himself and bought that. This looks like beans kind of... And, uh, beans and tofu. Kind of a Mexican tofu. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And is it, does it, is it good? Is it doing the trick? It's cutting down the heat from the uh, Chinese tofu. Oh, so you got some with hot sauce on it. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Wow, and come up here, Tom. Look at this. What are we eating back here? Oh, this is a spinach lasagna tofu. Spinach lasagna tofu. Mm -hmm. Look at this. That's very good, very spicy. I've never heard of this before. Oh, it's good. You'll like it. And you're having? I'm, um, I'm having, um, I think this is spaghetti, tofu spaghetti. Let's with hold beans, this up. beans and mushrooms and bell pepper. Wow, and look at this tofu over here. Now this is just a big old slab of tofu here, isn't it? Right, and... This it, is the kind we know about. Uh, it's Korean it's very salad good. tofu. Sir? Korean salad tofu. Wow, there is so much I've got to learn about this. Um, this is going to be fun. We keep getting diverted, Bill. <laughs> look at all the people over here who have come out to try tofu today. This is amazing. Here's a lady smiling. Now, where, show me the tofu in there. I don't know. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> I think you've just got a salad. Well, I got to tell you something. This tofu business is great, and it's for pe particularly for people who are fighting any kind of cancer or any breast, breast cancer or uh, uh, prostate or anything. Tofu is about the best thing they could possibly eat. Is that right? Stay it's true. Away from, stay away from your meats, although I sneak it in. Yeah. But they have a great drink over there, a chocolate drink that's uh, um, great, made out of soy and all that. Okay, well, we got to try that. Enjoy the day. I got to tell you, I enjoy you on Channel 28 beyond anything you can imagine. You got the greatest, greatest show. Thank you and very much. And tell your much. cameraman next time not to knock my dish down. Now, listen, <laughs> this is a new cameraman. This is Tom because Louie, my regular cameraman, is at home with his back out today. Oh, dear. Well, tell this one, Tom, to be careful because he just knocked a piece of my vegetable. Tom, down. be careful, for goodness okay. sakes, okay. please. Thank you. Thank you. I got to tell you, thank you. <laughs> She's very protective of her tofu. I know. <laughs> All right, let's head. Oh, my gosh. We're never going to get to the main. Oh, gosh. Howdy. <laughs> what are you eating here? Tofu yeah. ceviche. Tofu ceviche. ceviche. It's pretty good. It looks like tabule. Tofu tabule. Wow, this is. Oh my gosh, what have you got there? Cheesecake. Tofu cheesecake? Want a bite? Well, what does it taste? <laughs> Wait a minute, this is going to be my first bite. Okay. Tofu cheesecake. It's really good. You may not care for this. It's got a kind of a coarse flavor, but if you eat the whole thing, it's pretty good. No, it tastes really good. I think it's silky and good. <laughs> it has kind of a coarse flavor. It has taste. a coarse flavor, yeah. I'm going to try the black. This is what is this? Blueberry? Blueberry and strawberry. It's, it's different. <laughs> See how diplomatic that was? Oh, look. Let me look at your tofu. What is this? Curry. Curry tofu. Uh huh. And you've got. I'm not sure. It's fried tofu. And... Fried tofu. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you've got what there? Uh, these? Mm -hmm. It's called. No, no, these right here. Oh well, it's a, it's a salad. A, a tofu, tofu salad. salad. Yes. Do you like tofu? Sometimes. <laughs> Chez Sat Sato. Right. Now, who's in charge over here? And uh, they have. Uh, is he here? Yes. Hello. Chef Sato. Come on, we're doing a program on tofu. Your name yes. is. I'm Chef Sato. Now, get me. Ex Same name as the restaurant name, Chef Sato. Come on and get out. Come out here with me and get me excited about this. Now, now, get me excited about this. This is a made with uh, tofu, mainly tofu and the spinach, a little bit of pepper, and the cheese, and we bake in about, uh, you know, 20 minutes. Tofu, spinach, and bell pepper. 
Yeah. And uh, of course, they did all the low fat the cheese and the cheese. Low fat. Can yeah, you hold that fat. a minute yes. so I can? Yeah. Can I pick it up and eat it just like yeah, this? Sure, sure, yeah. This is a very good. Oh, you know. Now that, yeah. it tastes like quiche. Yeah, quiche, but they make a mainly tofu. Tofu and the spinach and the mushroom. So it's like a tofu quiche. Yes, that's right, yes. Uh-huh, that's a tofu that's quiche. Yes. Right up. It's a tofu, spinach, mushroom quiche. Well, now see this. Oh, here, tofu, spinach, mushroom quiche. Yes. It tastes just like quiche. I always see you on TV, man. Are you? Wait a minute. What are you eating here? Okay, now this is here. Try, try a little bit of that. Oh, I've already seen this. This is that smoothie. It's good. It's really what good. What other tofu have you tried? The, we just got here, so we're just winding up. And why did you come down here today? Are you a tofu fan? Actually, yes, but um, my church is right next door. <laughs> oh, your church is next door. <laughs> so you're kind of trying some new stuff out today. Yeah, this is great. Try it. You go ahead. Try it. Can I have a sip of this? Go ahead. Now that's good. <laughs> What's in here? Tofu and um, actually, uh, it's tofu mixed in. Oh, there it is. Tofu smoothie. Right there. Oh, come on. Come on over here. Come on, Bill. Where are those smoothies? Where we are. <laughs> Hook one of those things up for us. They're, they're doing them over here, Tom. Look over here in the back. You got a batch of them coming out? Yes. What's in here? Uh, orange passion from Hawaii, banana, uh, mango, tofu, of course, and honey. And honey. Everything's natural. So there's some, it's, there's some calories in here. Yeah, well, okay. Can you pour one of those out here for us? We want to get it right out of the... Have you put the tofu in yet? It's already in. How much tofu do you put in there? Uh, half a block. Well, that's about uh, 10 ounces. So you got a lot of tofu in there. Yeah. Oh, watch this. Oh, boy. And show him, show him that one, too. That <laughs> looks great. Mmm. Boy. I can't taste the tofu. Well, that's the whole idea. We try to make what? It. That's the whole idea. So you don't, we can mask the flavor. We, so we, cut, we put the orange passion, banana, honey, just to mask the flavor. I got you. Yeah. But it's still, what, about 30 or 40 percent tofu? Exactly, 30 percent tofu. Great. Boy, this is, is this is great. <laughs> now, what is this you've got here? Uh, it's a coffee tofu jello. Coffee tofu jello. It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Uh, this is a cabbage tofu rolls. Cabbage tofu rolls. Yeah. Looks great. <laughs> it looks interesting. Yeah. And look, the tofu is worked all around in there with the cabbage. Yeah. Now, wait Everybody a minute. Agrees. Wait a minute. Bill, this is that tofu sandwich I was hearing about. The veggie slices. Hold that up a little bit so Tom can see it. Mmm, it's delicious. Now, Bill, this is made of tofu. It's tofu cheese. And does it taste like cheese? It tastes like, it a, it, well, this, like it's the American um, flavor. It tastes just like cheese. American cheese. And it's yet wonderful. it's made completely of tofu. It's wonderful. I love it. I'm going back for another one. You now, it now, red and it melts just like cheese. Yeah, and, and um, what did you get? This is mozzarella. Mozzarella tofu. Yeah. Pretty How good. much did you know about tofu before you all got here today? Mm. I work for Weight Watchers, so I know I, all about nutrition, and I think tofu is, soy products are excellent. But you know, the barrier that tofu has to overcome is this idea that so many of us have in our I minds know. that it I is know. bland I and know. dull. But the baby boomers, the women especially, they're finding, going through menopause, they're finding out that using soy products are very helpful for, for the uh, symptoms, you know, hot flashes and things like that, because they have natural... Um, they have natural estrogen in it. You know, we heard from a lady earlier that it's good for cancer and yeah. other things. I didn't know about that. These, oh, yeah. these stories get started. Yeah. I mean, yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's certainly, tofu is certainly not going to hurt you. No, it, and it's delicious. Oh, look, Thank look, you. look. Um, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. It looks it's good, good, doesn't it? It's great. You're a tofu fan? Yes, I love it. So this is, is this traditional tofu? I think so, pretty much. 
Just regular old blocks of tofu. Blocks of tofu with shoyu and some fish flakes and onion. Wow. No, this UCLA, is very interesting. At UCLA, they have done studies and they've shown tofu to be helpful. Well, soy in, in general. Uh huh. Cancer, menopause, and just all kinds of things. Wow. This is a restaurant that we are featuring some Hispanic flavored food. And uh, this is Yvonne Dreyfus. Hi, Yvonne. Come out here and talk to us and tell us what we've got here. Today we're serving uh, tofu avocado ceviche, and what we do is we marinate the tofu and lemon juice instead of using shrimp, and we put avocado, onion, and cilantro, and if you don't like avocado, you could use mushrooms, mangoes, green plantain. It's a typical uh, Latin dish, and as you know, we're out here to educate the Latin community about tofu. Let's stand over here so we can see the skyline behind, behind sure. us. I'm just looking at what a beautiful, look at this shot here. This is great. Now you... Bill, is, is, this is the lady who's the tofu expert, right? Yes. <laughs> One of them. One of the tofu. Of uh, how did you get into tofu? Oh, well, as you know, it's the healthiest bean in the world. I mean, it's got the A vitamins, the B vitamins, the E, the K, all eight amino acids, protein, calcium, zinc, iron. I mean, it's just the healthiest bean in the world, so it's important that we eat this and it's important that the Latin community is involved in eating this because as you know it's a limited information here in Spanish for the Latin community. So this is a, a typical Latin dish. So you can, the Latin community can take tofu and implement it into Anything that's their, Latin, yes. their, their dishes. Yes, tamales, tostadas, paella, uh, enchiladas, tacos, taquitos, ceviche. <laughs> and where would they find this kind of food because I've never seen this on the menu of any Mexican restaurant I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> I've never seen tofu on a Mexican restaurant menu. Well, this is uh, homemade, <laughs> so you don't have many uh, Mexican restaurants serving tofu. Well, you're on the cutting edge. Yeah. You're, you're starting a trend here. There you here. go. There you go. Because it's important for us to uh, educate people to eat it, and it's so versatile. You can eat it in everything and anything. Well, isn't the idea that tofu can be adapted for any culture, yes. for any group, yes. can work it into their, yes, their exactly. menu? Yes, exactly. That's very true. So it adapts to the flavor of anything and everything. And are people really coming over to oh, tofu? Yes. Oh, yes. Especially the Latin people. You know, they want to be healthy. It's economical. And uh, like I said, you can make it taste great. So they're very, very interested in it. And for somebody watching wanting to do this, would they just go to their grocery store and buy tofu already made and then implement it into their... Yes, yes they do. They don't have to make their own tofu. No. They can buy it already and then work it yes. into their and dish. any of the American markets, you know, or the Oriental markets, uh, health food markets, it's uh, purchased everywhere and anywhere now. Really? Yeah. All right, hold that for that? me because I got the mic. I'm going to have to. This looks like it's got some guacamole here. Well, it's uh, tofu. That's not healthy. Avocado. Oh, yeah, avocado. Well, that's healthy. Unsaturated. Unsaturated. Unsaturated fat, so it's healthy. And what we do, like I said, is we marinate the tofu and lemon juice to give it that uh, fishy flavor instead of using the shrimp. Mmm. Good. <laughs> you can't even taste the tofu. No, you can't. All right, we have escaped the crowds, and now we're back behind the, the food tents. This whole area here is where they actually make the tofu. And here are the, here are the grilled cheese sandwiches. What have we got here? We got American cheddar and Swiss. And then mozzarella. 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 Can we hold up a piece of the cheese just to see what it looks like? This is made completely of tofu. Right. Now, if you closed your eyes, you, you could not tell that that's not made out of dairy. It really is. This is excellent. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. She, thank you. Everybody will buy these. Ma'am? I hope everybody will buy these tofu cheese. All right. Now, these are in the stores. Yes. And they're called veggie mm -hmm. slices. Mm -hmm. Organic tofu. Pepper jack cheese alternative. Right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Look over here. Hi. You're cooking up the tofu. We are cooking tofu chilies from Vada Soy. 
tofu chilies. Right. So Mainly this is tofu. real hot? Uh, just mild spicy, a little bit spicy. We're using the Azumaya Japanese tofu. Look at this. Here we go. Firm. All natural. And then we're using the taco seasoning. Texas so you put taco sauce into the tofu. First we uh, grill this, cook this, and then put the seasoning in, and then pour in the chilies. But mostly it will be tofu. Looks like scrambled eggs. <laughs> That's healthy, <laughs> isn't it? Well, yeah. And you just eat it just like this? Right, with the seasoning. You can see the end product up front is really good. We're going so fast. Oh, look. Bill, look at this. Try it's really good. That looks great. Have you tried this yet? I haven't tried. Oh, yes, I did. I did. Wow, this is. Now, is this going to be hot? This isn't too spicy. It's, it's not too mild. spicy. I promise. This would fool even somebody from East LA. Yeah. Because <laughs> we were just talking to a lady that's saying this is, they're trying to implement tofu into the Hispanic diet, into, mm, you know. Right, right. And I this would that, go perfectly. Right. I heard actually they drink a lot of soy milk to a lot of soy products. Might not be tofu at this point, but they do consume quite a bit. Really? Boy. That. You like it? That is great. Thank you. Thank and you. And what do you call this dish again? Uh, tofu nachos with tofu chilies on top of nacho cheese, uh, chips. Now this is what? This is tofu balls. This is one of the Indonesian dish that we serve a vegetarian. Tofu with vegetable and no egg. This is 100% vegetarian. Tofu balls yes. from Indonesia? Yes. And is this? This is tofu. We use firm tofu with garlic, onion, lemon, um, bell, uh, um, green onions, garlic, carrots, and celery. Now, is this an Indonesian dish? Yes, we eat a lot of tofu in Indonesia. See, I didn't know Indonesians ate tofu, did you? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much spread throughout Asia. Really? Yeah, because we, uh, our country is very poor, so tofu and soybean cake is, is the Look dish. Look at this. Tofu ball. Yes. You should try one. Well, it's too hot right now. <laughs> I'll come back and get it when they cool off. Okay, thank you very That's much. That's very interesting. What's the name of your restaurant? Or? Indo Cafe. It's in West L.A. Ma'am? Uh, I, I should give you a card, our business card. Good, give me a business card and I'll come by there and have one of those things. Now, where are we going now, Bill? Well, I want you to try Tofuti ice cream. And this is another... Tofuti! It's another ice product. Cream. I think if you closed your eyes and took a bite, you would not know it's made out of tofu. Tofuti ice cream. It's been around for a while. Uh, it's not new, but most people have never tried it. Hottie, can we taste one of your tofu? Tell me, tell me what you got here. These are uh, tofu bars that are non-dairy, and they're darn good. Now, how long have they been around? No milk, no butter fat, lactose-free. They're pretty new, and you get them at Trader Joe's. And that's the only place, as far as we know. And here at the Tofu Fest, and we got a special today: two for one, two for one. <laughs> Now, by the time this is on, the tofu <laughs> festival will already be over. Oh, that's okay. We'll you got to talk it. people into going oh, okay. to Trader Joe's to get them. I know, I know. And the but way we... to do that is to let me taste one so I can look you at the camera. That? You and... hear that? Okay, we're going to let you taste out of a wildberry one. Okay, okay? let me add it. Wildberry for the gentleman. Okay, wildberry. And, then, and then you give me your opinion. Here it goes. Here oh, go. my gosh. Okay, here we go. So this is one of them kind of diced up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. You take you, you try Come on, Bill. American ice cream you sandwich. Tell me how it is. It's right. like an ice cream sandwich. That's right. There you go. Got that? There we go. What do you think? It tastes exactly like an ice cream sandwich. See? You hear that? Right? Just like an ice cream sandwich. You like it? So is there in the marketing of these things, is there anything you gotta overcome to kind of convince people to to try them the first time because I'm telling you this tastes like ice cream you know what I think the best trial or error you can you can call it I think people just need to try them try them when you try it you believe and look at this guy he's non-stop he's <laughs> he's going for it I mean this guy you got to try him folks you try them you'll believe it and they taste great what do we got going here Honey. Nice to meet you. 
Tell me, oh, look at this, Tom. Home. Look at this. Tell me what oh, we got going here. Oh, this is the uh, gentleman. What have we got going here? Let me finish eating first. Oh, he's eating tofu. <laughs> <laughs> Bad timing. Tell me what you got. This is Korean style sun tofu, which is a sun tofu. It's to a what to tofu? Tofu with a chili base with a clam and shrimp. Look at this, Tom. This is amazing. It's like a, you got clams. There's some shrimp in there. And yeah, tofu. Now, is this a traditional Korean? Traditional Korean, yes. And they and you've always used tofu in this dish, or is what would have been in there if you hadn't used tofu? You, you, usually, we we serve this tofu in the casserole, mm -hmm. in the very boiling hot. Without tofu in it. Uh, with the tofu, yes. With tofu. With so tofu. it's always you had tofu. Uh -huh. So see, for some cultures, tofu has always been a part of the menu. Uh, well, yeah, at least maybe a thousand years. Yeah. That's close to always. Oh, boy. Is it taste, tasteful? <laughs> Good. The, the, the sauce is great on it. Melt in your mouth. Right? Like an M&M, right? Great texture. <laughs> oh, boy. That's great. <laughs> You gonna try some? I'm, I'm gonna be game and try some. <laughs> what do you mean we're gonna be game and game, try? I'm gonna try some. Come on over here. <laughs> Listen, then you gotta do everything. There's the first time for everything. Uh, that's true. That's true. Hey, what other kind of tofu have you tried? Just plain tofu. Just well, so I'm you're not in, crazy about it. You don't I'm like not crazy it. Crazy about it. Well, what are you doing at the tofu festival if you're not because crazy? Because I want to try this with the fish in it. So you want to learn? Yes. See, that's, look at the camera here, because that's what we're trying to convince people to do, is you to might win them over. try something that you're not familiar with and see how it tastes. Exactly. You know. <laughs> that's good. Here's your, look what we got here for you. All right. Okay. Oh thank you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. Now, take a quick little. Yummy. Take, I'm going to hold it. You take a quick little sip of it. Okay. And tell everybody what it tastes like. Yummy. Very good. <laughs> hey, bueno. Hey, bueno. <laughs> now we've got, what's going on over here? Oh, uh, we're cooking tofu teppan. And my grandmother and my mom and my brother are all cooking together. Um, we're flouring it and cooking it on the grill in that heat out there. So this is your grandmother and this is your mother. Hello. Family business. So family the family business. likes to make tofu. Yes. <laughs> and that's the brother out there and doing all the hot work. That's right. Yep. Well, Walking let's up. take some out and see what he's doing. Now, this is traditional looking tofu here. Look, slicing it up. That's the way we are used to seeing tofu, isn't it? In a block form, yes. Right. But we're cooking up and, and making it delicious. So that then, then you put it in what kind of batter is that? It's flour with salt and pepper and, okay. and secret ingredients. No. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's go outside now. Watch your step here, Tom. There's a cord right here. And here's the guy out here frying it up. Bowser, that's right. Tell me what you're doing here. This is this looks like you just got up you're grilling up tofu. We got an assembly line going here. You got your sister, your mom, that's your grandmom. Correct. And tell me about this. What what we're doing here. This is just we're just, you're just grilling frying it, it some, grilling that's it. Right. That's some uh, light butter. And you did a good job. You want to take over? Well, you know, when you're in the TV business, you never need uh, know when you're going to need a fallback position. That's right. That's right. This is great. Now, what's the benefit of grilling it up like this? It's very tasty. It's very simple. Um, oh, great. Thank you. And, and. Yeah, I, you know, I'd rather eat. I'd rather eat it with chopsticks, but because of the mic, I think I better use it. Okay. Fork. Okay. Sounds good. What is the benefit of having it fried like that? Well, it tastes a lot better. Everything tastes better with butter, right? <laughs> and we use our special mustard sauce on it. But that keeps it from being totally healthy when you put all that butter on it, doesn't it? Oh, but it's still a good form of protein. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Some zucchini and some onions. Now one more piece of that tofu. That's one more piece of tofu. Boy, that grows on you, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Good cook, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is our first year, but uh, we've had a good time. Very good time. Wow. This we is... can't believe how many uh, servings we've served in the past two days. Yeah. So they've told me about 2,000 a day. 
And, and for many people, this is probably the first time they've ever had grilled tofu. tofu. We serve this regularly in our restaurant. Now, on what's the, West the name side. of the restaurant? Marina Mago Restaurant. Where is that? Uh, Culver City Mar Vista. So now when you run a restaurant, is it hard to convince people that tofu is something they ought to order? Actually, no. Most of our customers uh, are pretty aware of it at this point because uh, it's, I think it's crossing the mainstream. Yeah. You'll see it at uh, the, great, the Great Earth and, and some of the more healthier stores now. So, so it's kind of hip That's to correct. eat tofu today. It's Hollywood. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. All good. I'm going to come by and see you all. Thank you, Mr. Howard. That's great. And these guys... Boy, you all now, they just told me that eating tofu is the Hollywood thing to do now. <laughs> so you're very in. Oh, yes. Hardly ever. <laughs> well, tell me about it. How, how you've uh, grown to know and appreciate tofu. I grew up with tofu, but I don't think I appreciated it when I was a lot younger. Well, you probably never had it prepared like this, did you? Not like this, no. It was just tofu. It was tofu. Yeah. But... Well, it was tofu with uh, bonita shavings and shoyu and uh -huh. hot rice. And now you can have it any way you want it. Oh, absolutely. This have is great. Have you tried the tofu ice cream yet? Not yet. It's Not yet. very good. Oh, that's next. <laughs> yeah, that's next. it's great. And now are you a tofu? I'm now a tofu convert. Good. High in protein and lots of calcium and They've all converted me. But you had to be converted, didn't you? Well, they didn't have much where I grew up in the Midwest. Had to move to California to learn all this good stuff. Yeah, well, see, this is part of the beauty of California, Absolutely. is that we've got something traditional like tofu now being prepared by so many different cultures in right. so many different ways. It's, this is great. Put it in the spaghetti sauce, put it in the scrambled eggs, put it in the fried rice. <laughs> Make a milkshake out of it. Oh, he's eating that chili stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, it is great. I'm having a good time out here today. Tofu, so cool. as you've never yeah. had it before. I, I never dreamed about it having it like this before. I bet you haven't had that much tofu in your life, have you? Well, let's just say it's not a, a favorite part of my diet, you know. <laughs> the wife try to slide a little on, in on me every now and then. So your wife eats healthy. Yeah. You're eating like I am. I'm the sinner. meat. I'm a sinner. I'm guilty. Yeah. Meat, bread, butter, potatoes. That's me. The whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, this could be the beginning of a whole new lifestyle for you. Definitely, if she cook it like they're cooking it out here, I would be a better candidate. Yeah. See, that's we we're repeating this. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I think that's the problem. Tofu's just been given a bad name. Hasn't I think it? so too. You know it. it I never could see it replacing meat, but this tastes good. <laughs> An unsolicited <laughs> testimonial from a meat and potatoes guy. That's right, that's me. And it is good. <laughs> Need to try some of it. This is curry tofu? Curry tofu. We just saw mm -hmm. some that didn't look like that. Mm -hmm. So this has got curry, curry sauce, sauce on it. This is salsa tofu? Salsa tofu here. And, and this is stir-fried tofu. Stir-fried tofu. Are you a tofu eater? I've become one. My wife started me on tofu, and after that, it's all downhill from there. <laughs> now, why did she start you on tofu? Health reasons? Yeah, she stopped eating meat, and this is, like, the best substitute. Yeah. Great protein and tasty. So, Actually, you develop a taste for it, I think, after a while. So tofu is something for vegetarians. That's basically... A vegetarian thing. Yeah, but um, a Japanese ancestry, it didn't matter whether she was vegetarian or not. They were they had it as kids, and so when she stopped eating meats, she went to just strictly tofu. Well, where is your wife? I don't know. <laughs> I lost her. I'm looking for the hot dogs. Have you seen the hot dogs? They're tofu hot dogs? Yeah. We're trying to find it, though. We haven't found it yet. They're tofu. Anybody had any tofu hot dogs today? I don't give a tofu ice cream. Ice cream? Oh, that's no, good. Ice cream was great. It the tastes chocolate. just like real yeah. ice cream. Oh, I can't believe it. Yes. <laughs> we, we all had some. My grandchildren. You enjoyed that tofu ice cream? Yeah. Like uh, it? Uh-huh. Cotty, ladies. 
Tell me something. Tell me why I should buy a tofu cookbook from you today. Get me excited about why are you buying one? Oh, because it's healthy and uh, my family loves it. So you think you're going to have some new ways oh. of cooking tofu that will make it even more exciting? Oh, definitely. We're um, constantly exploring new things because we've heard that it fights cancer and uh, anything that you can think of, yeah. heart diseases, and I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to, um, my kids, I have three kids, and I'm, I, wanna, I want them to get used to eating tofu. Yeah. Well, it's a good, healthy way to get the kids started. Yes. Now, yes, is definitely. this yours? Yes. This yes. is the, I've had this down in Little Tokyo. This is the ice with beans on it. Yes, yes. And that's healthy, too. Beans is healthy. Because yes. we're basically just talking about ice with beans on it. Yes. You're very a, good. You are a very healthy eater. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> They're checking out the tofu food booth guide here. Right. And you got a lot of choices, don't you? Uh, a lot of choices. So mm -hmm. you can't eat it all. No. What is your preference when it comes to tofu? I like um, spicy sauces. Uh huh. And I actually don't like it. <laughs> I, I think my parents forced me to eat it, so, you know, I, I kind of eat it with reservation. Well, but yeah, why well, are well, you laughing, Bill? <laughs> well, I, I think, like I say, when you're Asian, you kind of take it for granted. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of something that you've never thought of as a very exciting dish. No, but, you know, this, this thing is uh, you know, showing me a lot of different options, right? Yeah. You know, it's not just plain old tofu anymore. Yeah. Because I think that plain old tofu has done tofu a great disservice over the years, don't you? Yeah, probably. You know, but uh, I think this kind of stuff is neat. You know, I mean, we didn't even know about it. We just kind of came to check out the drums, and all of a sudden there's all this food here. <laughs> oh, that's what we got to do. We got to go check out the drums. You want to do that? Now, they're, they're having a demo cooking demonstration right over here. Oh, come on. Let's go over here. Bye. Have fun. Hope you find the right, right stuff today. All right. Thanks. Try the tofu ice cream. Okay. It's great. Bill, what have we got over here? This is a... At the MGM Grand watch your foot, Tom. Robert is certified from the American Culinary Cheesecake Factory. Let's stand over here behind the... So you've got basically a whole... Come on, Bill. You've got a whole... Uh, we have, and Robert is the demonstration uh, here. Right, they can sit here. A lot of people want to know how exactly do you prepare tofu. So the recipe book only tells you the instructions here. They can watch the chefs actually do it. They can taste it themselves afterwards. So it's kind of it's a nice way to learn. This is great. People are loving this, aren't they? Yes, they are, Hugh. Wow. It's, uh, Where do you get these chefs? The uh, chefs have volunteered to come out, uh, the ones that are serving uh, from the Tofu Festival, and uh, they're sharing their experiences, how various ways they can use tofu other than your traditional ways of eating it raw with onions and say with soy sauce, but using it in salads, using it as a meatless dessert, uh, meatless product, serving it as a tofu tiramisu. So the response from the crowd's been excellent. So has this whole thing kind of been a surprise that, that you find that so many people are interested in something as simple as tofu? Well, many years ago, Bill Watanabe, the executive director, uh, was the, an idea of doing natto. And we thought natto wouldn't go as far as tofu. Now see, I don't know natto. Natto is a fermented soybean in which myself included will not eat. But a lot of Japanese people eat uh, uh, the, uh, that product. But we convinced Bill that from a natto product, we should go to a tofu. And that's what it uh, started it three years ago. This is the first year that we are having the uh, cooks demonstration in which has worked very, very well. Look at all these people over here, Tom. You've got a captive audience oh yeah there. we've had it's been standing sitting room only uh, standing room only for the entire all of the uh, cooking shows and we've been ecstatically happy with uh, the turnout so this is a very practical thing it's not just a tofu tasting they're gonna actually go home and cook some of this themselves or go to these restaurants and try it out or and go to the store and get it or and what we're also doing is each of the different uh, chefs that have agreed to uh, do the cooking demonstrations, we all have little 
handouts here wow. that have the recipes and everything so they can go home and make it themselves. And we're very fortunate because the, we're having a question and answer session where they will answer any questions that the audience may have. And they've come up with some great questions. Wow. Some great tofu questions. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, What's a good question for tofu? Well, one of them was, uh, in, do I use a hard tofu, a soft tofu? And for me, I didn't know there was a lot of differences between, there's basically three types of tofu. And whether you're using a what, hard? hard, a regular, and a soft tofu. Uh -huh. And uh, Patricia Greenberg, who does a book on tofu cooking, she says for any of her desserts, she uses the real fine soft tofu. And for those that are stir fried, they use more of the firmer hard tofu. See, I can hear people at home right now taking notes on all of this. Well, we'd encourage them to come to the Little Tokyo, uh, to the Tofu Festival. It's our annual Tofu Festival, which is part of the Nisei Week uh, ce celebrations that we have here. Now we're taking a quick tofu break to listen to the taiko drum players. This is part of the festival as well. And these taiko drum players are great. Let's listen to them for a minute. cookbook 175 delicious nutritious easy to prepare recipes featuring tofu what is that Temp tempeh 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 tempeh. and various forms of nature's healthiest bean yes so the soy bean is nature's healthiest bean absolutely soy has can, is a protein. It's a plant protein, so it's cholesterol free. It contains all of the necessary amino acids that we need. It is um, high in fiber, and it's been found to reduce the risk of cancer, heart disease, reduce the symptoms of menopause, and reduce the risk of colon cancer. It's delicious, easy to work with, and this book has 180 recipes using all forms of it. Tofu, which is bean curd, tempeh, which is fermented soybeans, soy milk, which is the liquid that's a result of the crush of the soybeans, soy cheese, is soy yogurt, probably things you've never even heard of. Yeah. And I've made it very user friendly so that the American diet can eat, people who are used to an American now, diet can eat this. Now, before you started off on this quest, did you know much about? 
tofu or soy or any of this? Absolutely. I've been working with soy foods for 15 years now, and I was a big proponent of soy years and years ago, and now we're finding more you and more. You were ahead of your time, weren't you? Yes, absolutely. There's one more thing I want to mention. Soy contains a compound called genistein, and that's the link. That's what we have found to be a preventive measure in cancer. Now, you don't think that, all, that there are going to be people out there saying, oh, this is some of this kind of new medicine thing, people saying that, you know, these foods are so good for you, but they really are, aren't they? They really are, and we can prove... I mean, this isn't just hype, is right, it? Right, absolutely not, and the reason we found this out is because in Japan, people eat soy every day, and they eat a lot of it, and we grow tons of soy in the United States, and we eat hardly any of it, and... What do we do with it? We feed it to animals. Yeah. It's and cow feed. And then eat that meat. And then eat the meat, and it takes 18 pounds of soy food to make one pound of meat, so it's not economically feasible to eat meat. It's very economically feasible to eat soy and the incidence of cancer in Japan is very low and they eat a large quantity of soy so we have really found some definitive evidence that so this it's is just food. basic stuff we're absolutely, talking about absolutely absolutely and soy was first brought into the United States in the 20s and it was called green manure because it replenishes the soil beautifully unlike other crops which have to be rotated soy keeps the soil going and going and going so there's no downside to soy at all no and I will except say except up to now the taste well, yes. I mean, and that's and been even, the downside. Yes, exactly. And myself and some other cookbook authors have come out with some wonderful recipes that make it really easy to eat soy. And it's cheap. And it's very available. Well, we have had a wonderful day here at the Tofu Festival. Bill, this is the... Third annual. Third annual Tofu Festival. And there are going to be many, many more to come. And I'm sure they're just going to get bigger and better. I hope so. I hope someday it'll be bigger than the garlic festival. <laughs> now, there's a purpose behind all this. Of course, it's right. part of Nisei Week. And Nisei right. Week is a wonderful, uh, almost two-week uh, festivities down right. here in Little Tokyo. But this has, this tofu festival, the money raised here does what? It's a fundraiser for the Little Tokyo Service Center. We do counseling. We we help people who need jobs, welfare, that kind of thing. So it's a very charitable organization that we uh, raise money for. So it's good for the community. We want to invite people to come down next year, check your newspapers, and the publicity will be out on it. It's every August, right. uh, toward the middle and end part of August every right. year. And uh, I want to thank you. Give us your name again for everybody, because Joni's <laughs> been such help to me. Joni Bien. And Joni has kind of helped guide us through the maze of the Tofu Festival right, today. Right. You've and got I a gift. I you with something. This is the third annual Tofu Festival t-shirt, soon to be a collector's item, I'm sure. So, and we want to just give this to you as, as thanks, and maybe you can wear it and be our, our poster boy. Well, I am the honorary <laughs> chairperson already. Right. As, your, as the honorary chair and for all the duties that you've done as honorary chair, it's just a, a small token to say thank you. Thank you. And we're going to get another one for Tom Drew, our cameraman today, no and another one for Louie, who's at home with a <laughs> gimped up back today. His back okay. went out on him. One for Louie. All right. Good. And Tom, Bill, Tom, Bill, you did it. Did we you sold you? me. Great. On tofu. Great. Well, I didn't think it was impossible, but I'm glad we did. Because, really, I was skeptical, to be right. honest with you. <laughs> I've heard all the good things about it, but I wasn't quite sure. But what we have seen here today is that tofu is not only healthy, high in protein, low in fat, uh, uh, healthy in many, many ways, but that it can be interesting and right. exciting and tasty. We've had it diced, sliced, blended, fried, fried frozen, frozen, grilled, and now we're ending up with tofu cheesecake. Yum. It's, so, it's really good. Have you tried it? No, I'm going to. Okay. It's a perfect way to end our day here at the third annual Tofu Festival in Little Tokyo in downtown Los Angeles. This is as Southern California as it gets standing here in the summer sun on a Sunday afternoon eating tofu.
Give us a wave. Of course, he looks like he's been eating a lot of tofu. <laughs> it's time for the Tofu Festival again this year. July the 19th and 20th, right in the middle of Little Tokyo in downtown LA. And if you have never been to a tofu festival, you gotta go this year. You are in for a treat. All kinds of tofu. Don't eat before you go down there. There's enough tofu down there to last a lifetime. We're putting the telephone number on the screen for you to call for information. Of course, you can also go to the kcet.org website for information. It is a wonderful, quintessential Southern California event. And to go to the Tofu Festival is a great way to have some summer fun. And now we're going way back in time. We're pulling out an old video log that's over 15 years old. In fact, I think it's my younger brother who's doing this particular video log. But it takes place in Little Tokyo downtown it's not about tofu, it's about an artist who uses sugar to make his art. Enjoy. Well, here we are at the Japanese Village Plaza in downtown Los Angeles, and this is a great place to visit. All kinds of interesting shops and stores and people down here. And one of the more interesting things about coming to this place is that no matter what time of day you show up, there always seems to be something a little out of the ordinary going on. At first, you're not sure what you're seeing. A man standing there behind a wooden box working with a colored material of some sort using his hands to pull it and shape it. A crowd quickly gathers. What's this man doing? And then kind of a gasp as everyone sees this shape taking place, a bird in flight. Sean Ichiyanagi has been making these sculptures for years. It's called Ame Zaiku, the art of making candy sculpture. And it's an oriental tradition that goes back hundreds possibly thousands of years. When I was a little kid, this was kind of popular art. Uh, there are at in least, Japan? Yeah, in Japan, at least a temp, you know, half dozen to a dozen people doing it. And uh, I watched and I was fascinating so much, but uh, now it's a dying art in Japan. There are only a few people doing this. And uh, not very many. No, in Los not Angeles. at all. Are you the only uh, one in Los Angeles? One in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, entire United States, two people. You're kidding. One, another gentleman in uh, Disney World, and myself over here on the West Coast. How does the fan work into this thing? Uh, that will cool off just very quickly for the temperature, whatever I want this to be. And what is this you're putting? Flour on? powder. Oh, flour. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I have no idea what that looks like. It's still just, and then all of a sudden, it becomes a horse. That is amazing. What happens if you mess up? Uh, there's no definite form in art for my belief. So I never make mistake. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's nice to know. What do you think about this, ladies? Oh, it's beautiful, what he's doing. Have you ever seen anything like that before? First time. You think you could do something like that? Uh -uh. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that it was a candy, that mm -hmm. it's edible. Oh yeah, you can eat it. It looks wax to me. It oh no, wax. you can eat it. You want to try one? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed it was either wax or glass. Yeah. I had no idea it could possibly be sugar. I also had no idea he was going to be making one. It's beautiful. Yeah, because he's just starting with a glob of, with a glob. With a glob. <laughs> what do you think it is, kids? A unicorn. A unicorn. A red unicorn. It must give you a good feeling to do this and watch the wonder on people's faces as these figures develop. Um, see, out of adults, I don't enjoy, not too much. I enjoy, yes, but out of kids, 
just uh, irresistible. I just cannot stop making candy so I can make them happy. They put me like a, not a king, but a, some kind of master, you know, like I was a little kid. I felt the same way to this uh, old candy. And man. now they look up to you. Uh -huh. So with the grace and finesse of a true artist, Sean Ichiyanagi is carrying on an ancient and quite wonderful oriental tradition, sculpting heated sugar and corn syrup into candy figures of unicorns and dragons and birds, much to the delight of young and old alike. I'm Huell Hauser for Videolog. Videolog is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.